Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos. I know I haven't done a lot of these videos or tutorials in a while, so today I wanted to show you guys on the Windows side because I haven't done any Windows software related stuff lately. This cool all in one image editor that I've been using, and regardless, it's probably been out for a little bit, but it is really, really cool because it is free. Actually, it's free for personal use and paid if you want to use it commercially, but really, you know, it's free overall. Check it out, pick. Pick Editor. Again, it's PIC, PICK Editor, an all in one image editing program with a very uh, simple and easy to use interface, and actually very similar to that of Microsoft programs. So, for example, you can create a new blank image here, you can open an existing image, and you have all these built in extra tools. So, let me go through those real quick. You have a color picker, which allows you to pick any color on screen here. Um, this kind of puts this little thing that you can't see in the bottom right, it's kind of like a magnifying glass. Obviously, I have a black desk, desktop, so you can't really see anything. But if you ever needed to, like, if you're a coder or anything like that, or if you ever want to know specifically what color, you know, what color or anything on the web pages or something, you can use that. It has a color palette, a magnifier, uh, which you can see here, you know, magnifying. Um, has a pixel ruler, which actually can come in handy as well uh, when measuring stuff. So again, really, really great in terms of for like developer or if you're anything, if you're designing anything, this is a really, really awesome tool. So you can just use this. And kind of move around like so. All right, let's go ahead and look at Crosshair. So Crosshair, this gives you a thing to kind of set like little. Uh, I guess you can find out like relative coordinates type thing. Uh, you know that could be helpful, I guess, in some way. Uh, even a protractor, an online protractor to measure an angle on screen. Again, I guess that's more you know for a uh, if you need to do anything related to that. But a really cool one that I was actually looking for is something that does these kind of whiteboard presentation things. So uh, this is something related from the next site, but you can do cool things like simple like you know pointing to arrows like you know I want to show you this crazy uh, icon I have right here in my video or I want to show you like you know I can draw and circle it like so or I can try and write to you guys the website digital I can barely write digital digital dojos if I can even fit this within the video region digital dojos and that was written with the mouse here um, you can also do crazy stuff like you know this and you can adjust sizes and you can even save the image if you're you know really that into it and then you right click and everything goes away so it's you know really cool you know for presentations or drawing anything uh now the main thing it's used for though you can do screen captures you can do full screen captures you can do window control you can do scrolling window capture region capture uh now mind you this is by you know so if i want to take a picture for example um let's say i want to take a picture of let's so say a fixed region so i want to get a region of 320 by 240 capture fixed region and I'll take a picture of that so now it brings me into the editor which is very very similar to that of paint uh, MS paint if you've ever opened that very similar to that whole style of uh, Microsoft applications so you can see I took a picture of the two icons that I have in my desktop the cleanup folder and the recycle bin I can resize it I can crop it I can do everything I want to do and a basic, you know, in an image editor, but with all those extra features, I can draw text on it if I wanted to, and you know, say test, and then obviously you can't see that because it's black, so let's make it pink. Uh, and you know, I can increase the text size to like, you know, uh, 40 or whatever, maybe 67, and then put that on there. I mean, uh, it has so many features that are, you know, packed in this little uh, editor all for free and again really really easy to use it even has this little ruler here so you can see image one you can have tabs for new images stuff like that guys really really cool editor just a quick little nitpick download i found that i'm going to be using in future videos and tutorials again pick pick editor i'm going to leave it uh the below i'm going to put an article in the video description uh on my f uh, post over at digitaldojos.com showing this app and where you can download it, all that jazz so again head over to digital digitaldojos.com and thanks for watching